Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Over the past few days, I've kind of come under a light attack. Uh, and I don't mean an attack. I mean, people have been emailing me and saying, well, how come you're not getting upset at Apple for the things they're doing? And I said, well, you really haven't been watching much, have you? Uh, you might remember the incident where I was frozen out of my iTunes account after uh, someone gained access to it through some kind of phishing scam. I didn't click on any link. Uh, but it was compromised through uh, some security measures that I didn't think were as solid as, as they are now. Uh, so they used my birthday to kind of wrangle their way into my account and ended up, uh, well, the charges are still in dispute on PayPal. I've yet to hear back from uh, PayPal on that, and that does have me concerned, considering it was $450 worth of gift certificates. Now, these aren't the gift certificates that people have been sending me, which I'm grateful for. Um, these are, the, they were charged from my account to somebody else's. And uh, I've yet to hear back uh, to see whether or not I'm going to get my money back. It's kind of upsetting, you know, to have $450 held hostage. So I thought I'd continue the Apple bashing thread. And I'm not an Apple basher, no more than I'm an anything basher. My point is, is that when technology works well, I'm more than willing to say, hey, it's working well. And when it doesn't work well, I'm equally as willing to say it doesn't work well, no matter the company, whether it's Microsoft or Apple. So tonight, as I was synchronizing my iPhone 3G, uh, updating a couple of apps, all of a sudden I noticed the uh, syncing process stopped. Didn't think much of it at first, and I was like, oh, the iPhone reset itself. Okay, then 10 minutes later, it was still rebooting with the little Apple logo in the middle of the screen. Wait another five minutes, still the logo. Half hour later, still the logo. Hour later, still the logo. Two hours later, still the logo. Ugh. So I tried the hard reset, and that's basically you uh, hold on to the home button, you know, the little the button at the bottom of the iPhone here, with this little button here down here. You hold on to that and then press the power button to reset the phone, to, to reboot it, if you will. Uh, did that to no avail, and I was just like, I, I don't know what to do. So uh, a few friends uh, recommended that I follow a few steps, and uh, lo and behold, that uh, seemed to have worked, at least for now. This is not a jailbroken iPhone. I've yet to jailbreak any of my eye devices. I'm just kind of not into it. If it doesn't work out of the box, then I'm just not interested. I mean, yeah, I like messing around with software and th doing things that you shouldn't necessarily do every once in a while, but my case has always been that every time I do something that wasn't really meant to be done, I end up causing more harm than I do good. Just my experience, I know everybody's gonna be different. So this was a, a full uh, working iPhone 3G that I had to fully reset, and here's how I did it. And again, I was following instructions that have been posted various places on the net, but maybe you've run into this, at, or at some point in the future, you will run into this, uh, with the iPhone at least. So uh, what you do is you plug the iPhone into your computer, whichever computer you use to sync it to iTunes, and you do that, the reset thing. You hold on to the home button, you hold on to the power button, but you keep holding it down. So you've got it plugged in, you reset it, you'll see it reboot, do not let go after it resets. It'll do it again, and then the next thing you see, you keep holding it until the next thing you see is the restore screen. And that you'll know because you see a little iTunes logo and a USB cable. And so you'll know you're ready to set it up again. And at that point, you will be restoring a backup, whichever your most recent backup or possibly uh, other backups, uh, you know, whatever that happens to be. Uh, I guess I restored to a point that seemed to be fine. Uh, didn't restore everything because I've, I've done some things since the last uh, backup or I guess full backup is considered by iTunes or the iPhone. Um, I'm in the process of reinstalling or re-uploading the apps back to the iPhone. I am grateful that the apps were stored locally um, so that I don't have to go and re-download and go, well, which apps did I have? What do I have to re-download? It knows that I've got everything in there and I, I don't seem to be missing anything at this point. Um, so. Yeah, I'm uh, looking forward to being able to use my phone again. I know I'm going to have to go in and I think reset a couple of passwords as well because they've kind of changed uh, since the time that you know I, I guess I did the last uh, I, I did the backup last. So anyway, I know that the iPhone is not perfect. I've I've complained about it and and parts of it that I don't think are great, including uh, iTunes. I've never liked iTunes, and I I think that uh, the App Store could use a lot of tweaking, specifically in the ratings. Let me give this bug to you briefly. Again, I'm just doing this because you, you've heard me like say, oh, the iPhone's great, it's great. Well, that doesn't mean there aren't chinks in the armor, okay? One of the big chinks is in the iTunes App Store. 
you've got ratings, right? You can get like one out of five stars. And people have rated my show in the iTunes app store. They say, oh, five stars, it's great. Or one star, he thinks he's Leo Laporte, which that's not exactly true, but okay. So let's get past the idiot factor of people leaving insipid reviews. Uh, the problem when you apply a single rating to an app is that it's assuming that it is a single piece of media that will never be updated again. Okay, so for instance, uh, if it's a song, the song is the song, or the television show is a television show, potentially the series is a series. But when you're talking about an application, you're talking about something that will evolve over time. So in the beginning, when the price is at this point, and the version's at this point, and all these different factors are at this point, it's going to be a different rating than it will be down the road, three versions later. It could be better. So a one-star app may be a five-star app. But the problem is that it, 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 the, the ratings don't clear out when a new version is uploaded, and you can't go back and look at the change log. So not can you not only easily see what people are complaining about, but you can't also see easily a full change log within the App Store. And Apple really needs to do a better job at doing that, specifically because software is a different beast than just regular old media. Just It just is, and they need to be able to account for that. It's certainly going to make it easier for me to leave reviews or want to leave reviews. I also think that uh, they need to extend the just single five-star model to allowing me to vote on different aspects. So while I may think the graphics are gorgeous, performance is at the tank, or vice versa. Uh, right now, all I have is stars and relatively idiotic reviews from people who are complaining about a 99 cent app. Dude, you spent how many hundreds of dollars on a device and you're complaining about spending 99 cents? Get a life! Now that I have that out of the way, I'm sorry for blowing out your eardrums. Just those kind of people upset me. Just a little. Maybe they upset you too, I don't know. My email address is chris at perillo.com if you, if you like to complain or send me your ear doctor bill for doing that whole yelling thing. You're also welcome to stop by the chat room uh, that's uh, open all the time. We're typically talking tech. You know, I've got this live video thing that's streaming 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and every once in a while you'll see me run into problems. Like this one, just one of many, I'm sure. So if you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome to. As I said, we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.